TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK and all around the world. Because, you know, we're about to spend the next 45 minutes with Spanion in Hobart. Inside the hoods of Hobart. And apparently he got arrested. And I knew this day was coming, man. I knew this day was coming. He ain't doing nothing wrong. He just going there trying to get his little film off. But, like, in Australia, bro is like, bro is like a rock star. Like, he's like the biggest thing they got. So, it's inevitable, man. But they can't charge him for nothing. He going to get away with everything. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, man, don't forget we do got Patreon. And we also got merch, and we also got the lit one on Twitch. Username is at the bottom. Let's get into this, man. Oh, L, hold on, man. Hold on. Oh, now let's start, man. Let me let me start. Then I'm gonna talk. Crazy. Copyright disclaimer under, under Section 107, 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. What I was going to say is, man, it brings me great joy to be the first person that be reacting to something and then to see other people start reacting to it. I love it. And I love it. Fatherhood is one of the best. They say when you have kids, it's one of the most life-changing experiences. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do love it though, man. I salute that, man. Rock out, man. All of y'all. Let's get into it. Tasmanian police are alarmed about the rise in gun violence in the state. Six people have been charged over a brawl in Glenorchy last night in which police allege guns were fired into the air. A manhunt is underway in Tasmania after a 32-year-old man was shot dead in Hobart's north overnight. Tasmanian police closed a major road after a shooting in Hobart's northern suburbs this afternoon. Wait, All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode Into the Hood. I'm in Tasmania, Hobart specifically. Hey, Dawn, mate. Straight away, lad. I'm going to the three most infamous suburbs in Hobart. It's Glenorchy, Gagebrook, and Bridgewater. Apparently, people. Is this still Australia? Where, hold on, where are we? <laughs> I don't even know where we at at this point. <laughs> People run a mucks around here, lad. So this is what we're doing. We're meeting a rapper from here, old school rapper, old school battle rapper. His name's Greeley. He's a very knowledgeable person, not only about Hobart, not only about the hoods, but the, the history of this place in general. Meeting another rapper from Glenorchy, his name's Wombat, one of the most famous rappers Australia has. And we're meeting a lad from prison. He runs a gym called Slaughterhouse Gym. His name's Wayne. He used to run, back in the days, a gang called the Glenorchy Mafia. So, I'm looking forward to talk to him. Catching the 503, we're getting off at Glenorchy and we're meeting Greeley there. By the way, reference time, it's 11 in the morning, Saturday. So we're meeting Greeley just be Oh, a Saturday is about to be buzzing. Before Glenorchy, so like a stop or two before and then we're walking into it. He said he's gonna be at a KFC along, this, along the main road. Did you dye your beard? Alright, here we are. Wow, massive mountains the whole way. Beautiful. It's like all of these suburbs are built in between all mountain ranges. I used to do a podcast, The Search, a couple years ago, and I had him on the podcast, and also Wombat that we're gonna meet, I had him on the podcast too. Dawn, good to see you again. What a blessing, bro. I'm yeah, brother. Down here. You're just checking out the mountain, eh? Yeah, I was just saying that this whole place is all built between mountains. Yeah, so that mountain's name, the traditional name is Kunyani. Aboriginal yeah. name. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. actual name. They've changed yeah. it back. It was called Mount Wellington. So this whole area was called... Mm, Mount Wellington's boring. Kunyani sounds better. Nice to about 200 years ago. The tribe that inhabited this area were... Oh, speaking of uh, indigenous people, I seen that girl who graduated from college 
And her um, grandpa came from uh, like from all the way from like a isolated tribe in the middle of I don't know where. Like he was some, it was crazy. It was a good moment, man. It was, that was solid. He I don't know if he knew what was going on, but he came for his granddaughter. That's tough. Called up. The Winnenar people, but the colonisation down here was so hectic. Around 1820 is when people started building farms out here in Glenorchy. Oh, he's Mark Graff here. We've got a pretty good graph scene down here. We don't have any passenger trains, Yo, but graffiti. this train tracks for Coley's. And, oh, uh, so there's no freight. passenger trains no. in Hobart? Oh. No, there's no passenger trains in Tassie. Oh, in the whole Tassie? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I think they, they don't actually like push forward for the train line because they like to keep people segregated in their areas you know what i mean like the people in power down here wow. all live in one area and they don't really want people from out here getting into the city or from out bridgewater or from even northern tasmania coming down you know dead what i mean set. dead set yeah like tassie's such that's, a small that's place. that's so interesting bro yeah tassie's such a small place and the people in power down here all live in certain areas i used to love when i watched uh, the looney tunes or what was it in the Tasmania? That was my like one of my favorite dude, cause bro was so misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? And he got into a lot of stuff because he was misunderstood, and it resonated. <laughs> I felt that. And there's a lot of it's all nepotistic. You know what I mean? Everyone's related, so the kids that have the money, they keep it that way. Yeah. And they keep everyone that doesn't have the money out of their way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And why are we going to Glenorchy and Bridgewater? And Gage Brook. I was on the street when I was pretty young, and most of the fellas that I was on the street with were from out Glenorchy. Mm -hmm. So I first came out to Glenorchy when I was like 13, 14, yep. with you know, fellas on the street. There was always hectic parties out here, house parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was only one pub out here in Glenorchy called the Mustard Pot, and that was pretty hectic. So growing up, Glenorchy was the run amok area. Definitely. Have fun, run amok. Is there public housing in Tasmania? Oh yeah. Oh there yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these areas we're going to are public housing areas? Yeah, there's a lot of public housing out here. Yeah. A lot of Tasmania's being gentrified at the moment, especially since Corona. Tassie always had this, and I think it's because of how hectic the colonial history was down here. Mm -hmm. But we had a lot of shame. And a lot of like, when I was growing up, it was like, oh, it was shit to live in Tassie. We were trapped in the mentality of being stuck. It was like a really negative mind state that we were in. And now I come back down and I can look at the mountains and realize- I'm not gonna cap. One, th one thing I never felt was in Chicago, I never felt stuck. I always had hope. I always had hope. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I had some homies that was feeling stuck for sure. I had homies that had never been out of their 12 block radius. So yeah, I understand how beautiful it was the whole time, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So they sent about 100,000 convicts down to Tasmania between like 1820 and 1860. A lot of the convicts, they got seven years. That was their deal. They got seven years for transportation and then they get out. And yep. a lot of people that get out, they went to the rest of the mainland and colonised Australia. Wait, so the convicts, they had to do seven years here? Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is like a jail. It's a Tasmania jail. Tasmania is a, a prison. It's a penal <laughs> settlement. The war that happened between the... The settlers and the Aboriginal people down here went for 30 years straight. Really? Wait, was... what? Wait, say it again? So this is like a jail. It's a Tasmania jail. Tasmania is a, a prison. It's a penal <laughs> settlement. The war. A penal settlement. I could say pause, but this is a serious matter. I ain't never heard of nothing like that. They send you to a specific area in a country for jail that's insane. that happened between the the settlers and the aboriginal people down here went for 30 years straight really it was the worst in australia because of all the trauma that came from the war and then as well like all these people getting sent out here they were like done for like stealing a handkerchief or a chicken or some shit yeah chucked on a ship sent to the other side of the world to this island where they didn't understand the country they didn't understand the environment yeah. you know it's cold yeah. the the roar that the tasmanian devil makes is this real demonic scary sort of scream yeah so you can imagine all these english settlers sitting sitting down here and hearing these roars from the bush and yeah yeah, yeah. You know, it just terrorized them they actually this place was called van diemen's land for 50 years yeah but the reason why they changed it is because they wanted to hide the shame of all that Bro, who, this guy is super knowledgeable like this might be the, the smartest individual that i've ever seen spanian speak to on here like this is tough he knows what's talking what he's talking about and but all everybody that he speaks to is very in, in 
informed. Nobody's over ignorant. Except sometimes there'd be like a little straggler or two walking beside them that'd be like saying dumb stuff that nobody cares about. But yeah. Oh, really? and the yeah, name yeah. Van Diemen's Land, you know, aligned with all that trauma. So that's yo, when they yo. changed it to Tasmania. I think having you down here is really good because it's going to empower a lot of people. No, know? I love that. So uh, we're walking into Glenorchy. We're coming into the central here, next to Northgate. So we're entering it now. This is the the shops, the main main area. Yeah, this is the main area, sort of Glenorchy. Can sign your book, bro? Yeah, I can sign it. I can sign it. <laughs> bro, I've been watching you forever. How long you had the book for? A, a while since it came out, bro. Legend. Pretty much. Mad. Legend. All good, brother. All good. Times have changed in different ways from when I was hanging out here. You know, like Glenorchy was considered bogans. Yeah. Like everyone wore flannies. Where you start to come into Glenorchy, they used to call it the flannelette curtain because once you were past a certain <laughs> part of the, the suburb, yep. everyone wore flannies. And they were oh, bogans, really? You know what I mean? But now it's changed and, you know, bogans are now ashes. You know what I mean? And it's been interesting watching your journey, yep, watching yep. Sydney really trendset the rest of the country you yeah, know? yeah like out this way this way this flannelette curtain existed and yeah. it was actually bogan yeah oh, yeah this is the the bogan central you and know so now I'm all there. the kids of the bogans are now what people refer to as their exactly. which isn't a term i ever use i call them adlays but that's a whole nother conversation the essays have theoretically won the war against the bogan culture yeah, mate it's changed yeah, mate. Theoretically, won the war against the bogan culture, yeah, mate. It's changed. See, and, and you know, what? told you, mate. Remember, I told you years ago, brother. Hey, I'm here to take over, Adley. Now I'm going to show you the fruits of my labour. A lot of these kids, they don't have a culture to hold on to. They don't have an identity to hold on to. Yeah. You know, so what people see is this trend is actually a lot of these kids finding. I'm legitimately interested in the Aboriginals. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm curious. I want to know if there's like a town where they're like super like in Allison town, Alice town. They were super prevalent. Like there was a lot of them around. But like I want to see like you know what I'm saying? I want to I want him to go on a tour with one with an Aboriginal. You know what I'm saying? And and walk around and show you and give you some real game. You know what I'm saying? That'd be interesting to me. Not that, not saying that none of none of the other stuff is interesting because it is, but like that would be dope. You know what I'm saying? Because they that's a, it sounds like that's a people who just got the short end of the stick, and that's just phrasing it nicely. You know, their identity and it's empowering them. 100%. And this is what you're doing, bro. By some, 100%. By coming out to these places and uplifting people. You know, it's, it's a good thing, bro. You're doing God's work. Thank you, brother. So this is the bus mall here in Glenorchy. This is the bus mall. This dog just running a muck, lad. <laughs> That's where it wants. A lot of punch-ons over the years. A lot yeah. of drama in this park and the bus mall. And... What are you doing, lads? Is this the spot you always kick back here? Yeah. yeah. A lot of dramas go down here or lads oh. running a muck? Yeah. yeah. You running a muck? Bro, who is this? Ain't nobody scared of them. Mark, nice. you got that look in your eye, brother. <laughs> yeah, mad, mad. Well, the, well, the cops like yeah, they harass you when yeah, you kick them back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I'm cruising through the streets and I've noticed with a lot of these young fellas, Tourism Tasmania tells the cops we don't want these kids hanging out in the streets. Yeah. So the cops will roll through. You go, boy, you guys are filling up the space. We we'll give you a direct order to leave. And within a minute, the cops have get arrested them for failure to comply. And most of the time, these oh, guys... So you got to leave straight away. Yeah, yeah. And then if they don't, within five minutes, they'll arrest them and say, oh, failure to comply. And I've watched cops but arrest... But for any reason? Or they just... No, just, just because... you kick them back. Yeah, yeah. they came across, back. like, just in the middle of town, we're just standing there. They come up and tell you just go. So right now, they'll, they'll come here. Yeah. If they see you, they'll come here and they'll say, you got to go. And if you don't leave, yeah. they arrest you, they yeah. fine you. They'll give you yeah. 24 hours, 12 hours, and if you come... See, this is the thing about going around the world. You don't know what's what. These kids look like outstanding citizens. They look like they all get great grades. They all do good work at school. They all have hobbies that are enlightening, that help and uplift the home environment. You know what I'm saying? But I could be completely wrong. And I feel like I am incredibly wrong. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, that's too dark, buddy. It's too dark. Give me, give me that back. You good? All right, man.
Even though you live here, yeah. it's not like you're from somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. So what's the park for? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Glenorchy Police. What is the park for? What are those seats for? If you get move-on orders from sitting on them, come on, mate. Hey. 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 True or not? True. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of mental health issues here in Glenorchy and in Tasmania and in general. The mental health system down here is very behind. There's a lot of lack of services, you know. Where we're walking to now was the youth centre, but it was also the health centre. This is where I first recorded raps for the first time. You know, it was a pretty positive environment. Oh, you yeah. first rapped here? Yeah, this is the spot where I first recorded my raps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out the mural here, bro. You pick syringe in the mural. <laughs> does it? Oh, it does too, eh? A lot of successful artists in Tasmania now recorded here when they were a kid. Yeah. For me, this was a mass massive positive part of hanging around Glenorchy. Even when it was chaotic, yeah. at least we had some opportunities here at this centre to, yeah, yeah. you know. What are you doing, lad? We're talking about the old community centre, Pulse. Yeah, bro. Doing? Oh, Wombat, how are you, bro? Wombat. Is this still open or not? Um, I don't think it is. It's open. Nah, I don't so this is your hood, we in Wombat's hood, mate. He's come on the podcast with me many years. Don't forget, y'all. Hey, if you're from Australia and you're watching this video, I was watching Households for a minute, man. I'm a, I'm a, if enough people be like, hey, where's the next episode of Households? I'll watch it again. Until then, chill out. To go, and now I'm all the way in his territory, lads. It's funny, no, it's mad that you come down, bro. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Mad, bro. You've always lived around here, Glenorchy. Yeah, basically my whole life. I lived in Goodwood, which is a suburb, can just not far from me. Yep. But I've lived here for like 25 years, bro. Yeah. A lot of drugs around here? Oh, bro, ramp, ramp it, ramp it. Ramp like, it? Yeah, everyone comes to Glenorchy to buy the ice and shit. They got fuckloads of dealers out this way, you know what I mean? Oh, so, dead like, set. Growing up, it wasn't too bad, like, because I'm not a criminal, but, like, yeah. I, like, I don't get twisted. Like, I'm still from the streets and shit. But you just wrapped instead. Shit, bro. I've had some experiences, bro. Like, I've been, like, rolled with a baseball bat, been rushed down with knives and shit. Like, Bro, I've had some experiences bro, like I've been like rolled with a baseball bat and been rushed down with knives and shit like that. So Glenorchy is one of the, the drug spots of Hobart then? I don't want to sound wild, but like being robbed at baseball bat? What? Yeah, one of the central 100%, spots. 100% bro. There would be obviously dealers in all the cities, yeah. but there's a lot in Glenorchy from like Bridgie, Gagey. Like no, let me explain where I'm coming from. Being robbed with a baseball bat, think about that. That means somebody has to come up to you and have the baseball bat like, hey, give me everything you got. Do you know what type of time frame it'll take to swing that? By the time you reel back, I'm right in your face and it's not even going to hurt. You can, 100%, you cannot rob me with a baseball bat. And when I say rob me, I mean like get up on me and be like, give me everything you got. Like give me the option. You can't rob me and give me the option with a baseball bat because it's not it's just not going to happen. I'm confident in saying that. And I hope I don't condone any type of violence, but I'm just, I got to, like I had to say that. For me at Hobart, come, they come here to pick up their ice and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. six months clean off the pipe now, bro. Like, I'm fucking not touching Oh, you've been clean shit. for six yeah, months? Six Good months stuff, bro. Good. I believe you. So, so you've been on it around here since you were young? That's when you jumped on? Yeah. 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 That's a normal thing, kids yeah, around here getting on the ice now? There's nothing to do, bro, down here. It's yeah. Born, it's born. Danny. Yeah. Was, they had a skate park and a McDonald's and they fucking council got rid of the skate park and the McDonald's just said we would all congregate and just throw curries and shit. They got they rid of them? Yeah, but so like now there's less shit to do for the youth to do like you know, So all you can do now is just kick back at each other's houses and get on the pipe yeah. and smoke cones, eh? Yeah, it's fucked, bro. <laughs> like that's, that's why hip-hop's like one of the only outlets. Yeah. Like or sport, like footy and shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get out of the rut, the rut and shit. It's been like heaps of stabbings and shit like that. Like knives are getting more rampant. And really? Stuff. Somebody in the chat said it's true, or uh, go go be. How do you say your name? <laughs> Udonis, you said uh, it's true. He used to be on the stuff hard, but he's turning his life around. Been following Wombat for years, of course. All right. He looked like he coming off of it though. Like maybe in a year, one more, like another like six months, it'd be completely like, you know, cause hard drugs do a lot to you. But you know, depending when you stop, you can, it'll reverse, you know? Like back in the day, it was just full punch ones and that, but yeah, I yeah. just have a crack. 
But like, yeah. So all the young lads punching on, stabbing each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking never carried a knife out here, and because I never did, I never needed. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But I feel that a lot of the kids are kind of moving with this fear. Yeah, that's they, they, they see what happens on the internet and they think, F I better get ready for they're this all shit. Strapped, bro. They're all strapped. Yeah, yeah, Everyone's yeah. strapped, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I've been in every neighborhood from here to Palmerston, from yeah. Perth to Brisbane. Never needed a knife, you know. Shit's changing, man. Go on, man. Go on, man. Go on, go on. Good for you, man. I'm pro that's good. That's good. And maybe you just attract a certain energy where they don't feel like they need to do that type of energy. Boy, you booking it. Boy, you booking it. Boy, you booking it. Boy, you This fella does a lot of uh, burning off still for the Aboriginal community down here. It's cool fire, man. We're putting the cool fire back on the country to make it heal properly. Yeah. Slow little fires. Oh, burning off. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, 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 mad. Spanging you come to Tassie, bro. Yeah, I'm here, brother. Yeah, hey, man. You would have fought, lad. <laughs> That's good energy. That's Jason. He's one of the people in the Tasmanian Aboriginal community that are bringing back proper culture and process. And so not only is he doing burning off in the bush to prevent bushfires, yep. which is what the mob did here for thousands of years, you know, yep. but uh, it also comes with a lot of healing on the country down here. It's well, what's this we're going up into now? These are the, these are the, ha these yeah, the this, housing this, area. When I was a teenager, I'd always end up mm. here in these flats. There's a couple of bandos up here. We'll cruise up. Yeah, he lives around here. Yeah, does he? Yeah. True. You know, my memories of being a teenager here, there was just a lot of drugs, a lot of domestic violence. What are these little one one bed sitters? Yeah, what are yeah, those? Little one bed sort of vibes. Yeah. That's a brick. This is like the classic sort of. So this, this know, is what uh, blocks. Tasmanian public housing looks like, huh? It looks it look real like this look different. This look crazy though, key. Right here, with a one bedroom bungalow hood. Yeah, in this section, this is kind of more the complex. Yeah. I'd say the more common Tasmanian public housing used to be the kind of houses that we'll see out in Bridgewater and Gagebrook. Oh, okay, same yeah. Same in Clarendon Vale, but it's these Besser brick sort of yo, 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 yo. Um, Always these weird off colors. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you'll see like a weird dark green sort of yo. faded house. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is the Couch in the back room, like, classic. Apartment blocks, one out. bedrooms, you know. Oh, someone just straight out bought it up. You end up with a lot of dodgy in these sort of places. They're like, my memories of always hanging around here as youth, there was always a couple pedos living here. And that's a lot of my memories is like hanging around these areas, them terrorizing. And, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You had nothing to do, so you'd find out yeah, where the local they, pedo, pedo was right, and you just terrorize the, the, You know how they like test the and like the piss water and shit, like for yeah. drugs and that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It turned out Tasmania yeah. was one of the highest, was like the highest in the country for like methamphetamine per capita. Like, was it? Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's pretty hectic ago, down here. And it's just yeah. getting worse. Yeah. yeah. When I was like 18, there was no meth down here. There was a little bit hiding in the corners, but not much. It was yeah. all gack. It was biker speed, you know? What I mean? Yeah, I first like kind of learned about meth over in Perth. Mm. And then I came back here and then I watched it wash through Tassie. You know what I mean? So also down in Tasmania, they grow the poppies for like a third of the world's opiates. So every like... Methadone, so it's like the, all the medical farms, yeah, the yeah. medical so opiate all the, farms. All the methadone, all the morphine, oxycotton, from here to Oklahoma and America, yeah. comes from poppies that were grown in Tasmania. Oh wow! Yeah. Like kids who uh, can break into the poppy fields, try to make their own teas and die, bro. You know. Yeah. What I mean? Oh, that's it. So yeah. what they did, they actually found a way to modify the poppies to put a poison in it. Because what people used to do, they used to go run up to the fields, raid them. And Scratch then, the, the bo and, yeah, yeah, make their own milk yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah, do yeah. all that shit. So then the scientists figure out a way how to put poison in it. So if you did it, you'd die. So I think it was about 10 years. Dang, death? <laughs> they go, what? what? They, what? They figured out a way to kill you quicker. Yeah, yep, yeah, no, so it was like... <laughs> I thought you were going to say the opposite, like they figured out a way to make it safe. Yeah, no, the opposite, bro. So oh, that anyone... What? Like, I, I think it was... A, Listen, if you wanted to go heal yourself, eh, try again. But, pass it down from the heavens, buddy. <laughs> it's not happening. About 10 time. years ago, a couple tried doing it and they died in the yeah, poppy fields. Kids. Yeah, you know, they're doing tea out of it and shit. Yeah. So it's just like fully toxic. Yeah, full toxic. And they, you know, so I think yeah. that's like them just valuing their, their, their money more than human life. Facts. Like, if you steal my poppy plant, you die from now <laughs> yeah, on. See, that's savage, yeah. yeah, bro. What? I remember watching the news one day from I in Brisbane. And the state of Oklahoma in America yeah. were suing the poppy farmers in Tasmania 
for all the overdoses in America. No way. <laughs> and dead set, they were in court in America going, these Tasmanians are ruining the streets in America. Yeah. Dead set, bro. I nearly fell out of my bed. I was just like, what like the fuck? Like Pablo heart? Escobar flooding the streets of Florida. It's exactly. Right. Hobart flooding the streets but, of um, the United know, there's, States. There's eight degrees. That's Oklahoma. Nobody's even there. Separation between a fucking a poppy plant in Tasmania and adopting even oxycotton to people in yeah. America. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, true. Go on, bro. I'm good. I'm good. How are you, brother? Lovely to meet you, bro. You too. Yeah, you too. You pleasure, too. Pleasure, man. Absolute pleasure. Nice. Hey, brother. Right, bro. How are you, man? What's so you always been from Glen. Bro is. You all think he's natty? Norky. Oh, born and bred we are. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Was it a poor area? Yeah. Look, it, it wasn't. It, it's not. It wasn't a very poor area. Yeah. So, but it was the. It's the second biggest city. So you have uh, Hobart, and then Glenorchy was the next big city. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 And so we just used, used to find ourselves on the street. Started off, you know, Penny Crawl. We lived under Northgate. We used to climb under the fans and had our own uh, giant big industrial fans. Ah, We'd right. Climb under and under the doors, and there's. Uh, Alleyways and uh, yo, yo. rooms, and uh, we we had it decked out: couches, beds, oh, giant big, uh, murals of Glenorchy Mafia. Yeah, we used to get raided by the cops. What's that, Glenorchy Mafia? It was just a street gang yeah. that we started when we were kids, and yo, sort yo. of. Evolved. When are we talking? Early nineties. Early nineties, and then 90s, it yeah. sort of evolved into you know as we grew into more serious crime, it got a little bit more attention and, and it really become a recognised street gang, you know, in the prison system and in the community. And oh, so the Glenorchy Mafia was even a thing in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these boys, yeah, yeah. Years off in prison. And back then there was one prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So all these boys. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, bro, standing like NBA young boy. He killing me right now. Look at the stance. He ready for war out here. Yeah. He's off in prison. Back then, there was one prison. It was a maximum security prison. Uh, the minimum, the minimum security part of the prison system was Hayes Prison Farm, which was like a couple hour drive up north. Oh yeah. Like hour drive up north. And that's like the prison farm thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but now they built yeah. a new prison. It's just all fucked now. It's like. Uh, Detention center slash boys home now. It's just it's just not a real jail. It's just all fun. You've yep. got pedophiles mixing with like mainstream inmates. That's set. Uh, never have. No way. Yeah, yeah, man. It's yeah. fucked. Yeah, they do that eh, in the new prisons, trying to set people up. Yeah. yeah. So, Normalizing it, eh? But a, a, a lot of our time was done when the prison was real. It was yeah. Proper, proper prison. Yeah. So. yeah. so you in that in that crew, Glenorchy Mafia? You were one of the first lads. Yeah, so yeah. I was, it's published that I was the founder of it. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's just sort of grown out of that now, but we're all still together. And yeah. We all do other things together. And you started a gym, what happened? Uh, you broke uh, the records in, in prison? So, so in prison, <laughs> I was introduced to the gym and uh, I'd never lifted a weight. Yeah. I was very athletic anyway. I was naturally just athletic. And I found that I was uh, just so naturally strong. Did a few in-house health events in the prison and, and one, there was a prison officer who was involved in Powerlifting officially on the outside, yep. so he don't keep us up to date with all the records and who was winning around the country, and yeah, supposed yeah. to guide yourselves on that. Yep. And I just, yeah, and I just vowed to get out and become a world champion, and that's what I wanted to do. And that's heck of a happened. At the time. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, oh. We're literally just uh, focused on that, and, and then. Oh, so it, 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 that, that focusing on that got you off drugs? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it was fun. So you got out. The Gemma do that though. Now, the gym will get you through a lot of stuff. If you really lock in, the gym will do that for you, for real. Started going in competitions. Yeah, so I was wandering around the yards with a fucking book, uh, looking because I knew where the World Championships was in 2011. Yep. And I was getting out in that year, showing the boys where I was going. Everybody said, nah, you, you'll never get a passport, you'll never get there. I just knew I was going to that competition. I yeah, was getting there yeah, one yeah. way or another. I was going to win. Where was it? Latvia. Latvia, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, wow, so, Eastern Europe. Yeah, got out, did a, first, did a regional comp in Launceston, won. Uh, Dave and the boys, we all went as a team over to Melbourne. I yep. won another big one there. And then, yeah, qualified for Worlds. And fuck, I was in Latvia that year. And, That's cracker. Yeah. And, imagine that. Imagine thinking, then yeah. knowing I'm going to get out and be in Latvia Salute. and then walking yeah, there right. and, and then, achieving it. Yeah, and a silver medal, Worlds in the powerlifting and a bronze in the World Bench Press comp the next day. No way. And what then, was. Bro, for me. Well, that, he could be natty or non-natty, but he made it happen. I salute that type of energy. When all odds are stacked up against you and you still, quote, pedal to the metal and, and achieve 
But you set your mind to, a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people cannot stay focused on one thing long enough to achieve greatness in it. You know what I'm saying? So I salute that. What's your strongest lift, bench? Uh, what well, was the first yeah. Aussie in history to total 1,000 kilos? That's that mental, brother. Yeah, <laughs> and, and training. God damn it. Hey, Siri. How many pounds is 1,000 kilos? 1,000 kilograms is 2,204.62 pounds. That can't be right. That's right. Wait, what lift? A bit. The next day. No way. What was your strongest lift, bench? Uh, what was the first yeah. Aussie in history to total 1,000 kilos? That's that mental. That's cap. Uh, that's cap. That's cap. Can anybody lift that much? Hey, Siri. Has anybody ever benched pressed 1,000 kilos? Okay. I found this on the web for has anyone ever benched pressed 1,000 kg? Check it out. Bench press world record. All right. No, because now, no, I'm out. We'll find out. 782 pounds is what I see. 355 kilograms. What? The current world record equipped with shirt is held by American Jeremy Cole, established on July 29th, 2023, when he successfully locked out 635 kilograms, 1,400 pounds. Bro, I don't see nothing about dude though. Salute though, brother. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and and training all that in prison to yeah, achieve that. Yeah, well, I was everything I was lifting in prison. I was always the strongest in the strong. Yeah, yeah. No one knew what you, no one knew where, where, where I was coming. Yeah. And um, ultimately, within three years, I was world champion. That's bad. And so this is how your gym comes. Okay, now I, one more time. Hey Siri. What is Eddie Hall's best bench press? Edward Stephen Hall, born January 15, 1988, is an English media personality and retired strongman. He is best known for his world record setting 500 kilograms, 1,100 LB, deadlift in 2000. Bro, get y'all strong guys. <laughs> Why are y'all so strong? Yeah, Can we suss out your gym? Yeah, so first of all, let you know, yeah. so all of Warehouses here. Yep. We've, this used to be our gym. That used to be your gym. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was yep. a giant big warehouse, hardcore yeah. powerlifting gym. Well. We're known worldwide at the elite level of powerlifting. That's it, man. So we've moved out of the big warehouse, mm. hardcore gym. Yep. And we've sort of moved across here. You've moved a, there, yep. A small little more studio. Yeah, yeah, gym yeah, 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 yeah. Mad. Yeah, so it's a lot smaller. It's nice. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, this is my gym. Still got an old filthy room back here that yeah. we did most of our training in. Oh, this is the serious room. <laughs> this is, where the, is there, that's, that's where it goes down. There's the normal people out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mad, mad. Yeah. Yeah, these are mad machines, right? These hooks. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, so I have a really heavy connection to Russia. I've spent a lot of time there. Powerlifting, a big thing in Russia. You're They're right. huge, them lads over there, yeah, right? Yeah. So that was from the early 90s that was drawn by a guy in prison. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right, mad. Thank you, boys, eh? See you later, boys. Thank you, brother. No worries, man. He's a fan of mine, and next minute, I'm in his car. <laughs> We're in Bridgewater. At what point did you get arrested? Yeah, we're in Bridgewater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're coming through. So when they built these suburbs, they used the exact same blueprint that they used for the same like ghettos in Compton because they were strategically designed to keep people in. Okay, true. Let me see there. So back in the day, there was no Centrelink out here, and people used to have to go into Glenorchy to get, you know hand in their form. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, but it always caused heaps of drama having people from Bridgewater coming into Glenorchy. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, they built the Centrelink out here and they try to keep them out here, you know. And that's what I was saying, there's no trains, the bus systems are pretty shit. I think they just shut down one of the buses coming out here because kids keep throwing rocks at it, you know. And I'm going to, honest, we're pretty far from where I started, like where my yeah. hotel is in Hobart Central, yeah. Yeah, that's it. This and is for there to like be no trains and even like minimum buses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a really, blowout, eh? Yeah. You stay in your places and down here. It comes with a tall poppy syndrome, a small town syndrome, yeah. and it all mixes up, and you know. That's why, you know, really proud of putting on community events out here when we can, and we actually get the support from the council. I hear you. All right, we're in gauge book now. I'm not gonna lie, on the pull up, it looked nice. I thought it was going to be a, a bit of a secret here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there we are. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, how are you, bro? Doing that. How are you? Hey, I can't keep a secret in. I thought I was sneaking up here for no one to know. Fuck yeah. This is me. And here we go. <laughs> Easy. This is the portion where he gets arrested. Yep. Mizzy's a local rapper. He's been dropping a few videos on THC. Yep. Tazzy Hip Hop Collective. That's what we do. We uh, support these communities by empowering them through hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a platform that we're running. Mizzy, how you doing, bro? Hey, brother. 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 Hey,
you know what I'm saying? Like, That's hectic. Tough. <laughs> Edge Brook started back back when I was younger. Um, it was all CFL. Yep. So it was a big big gang amongst all us. Oh, that was a gang, yeah, yeah. And, um, what does that stand for, CFL? Uh, criminals for Life. Criminals for Life, yep. So, so y'all just ran to y'all's health self with no hope whatsoever. It was all, it was all you know, stealing so cars, breaking yeah. into people's homes. Yeah, like, getting out, getting just, money. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah, getting that money, bro, selling yeah. drugs and shit like that. Like, the crime rate's pretty high around here. Yeah, so it's um, always been like young lads running a muck. Always, bro, yeah. So what, so gang punch-ons and stuff? Oh, it's ice like, getting bad, yeah? Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. Bro. Like, I've lost a lot of my mates due to due to us, like just just from their loyalties and yeah. like all that kind of shit. Bit of a turf war going on, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, even now, nowadays yeah, you're even, talking even about nowadays, far out. Yeah. Like everyone's trying to make a dollar, but they're trying to get up on on top. Yeah. And um, same old story, eh? Yes. Man, when I was outside, I never wanted to be on top. I never wanted to be like that's too much attention. Allegedly. Anyway. Same old story, bro. Like, when I was a kid, nearly every second house like, sold, sold ice. Yo. You know, like, like cocaine or old school beer. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or chuff. Like, I was, I was 10 years old and I was going to buy chuff yeah. from, from a bloke, you know. Yo, 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 I don't yo. care who you are, I'll just sell it to you. Yeah, yeah. Which is, which is putrid because all these young kids that are getting on, on the ice, you know, their, their brains haven't developed properly. And, and even if you're like, yeah, he's making a valid point, man. When your brain is not fully developed, but even if it is fully developed, that stuff will walk you backwards. You know what I'm saying? And it's wrecking him. Oh, you can see it's he. It's heaps, heaps more dumpy than other parts. Hey, look, oh, yeah. yeah. So this the whole suburbs like this. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just these suburbs, bro. There's a lot of suburbs down here, like like this in Tassie. Is there? It's pretty ghetto down here. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Well. At this point in the video, someone come up to me and told me this is where bro, did, bro, did a cut scene. Where I heard about someone smashing a cop car, throwing a uh, rock at a cop window, having a fight with a cop or whatever they said. This is about 40 minutes or an hour in real time uh, from the bunch of people when I got out the car. So about 40 minutes, an hour later, something had happened back where we were and I'd learned about it here. Yeah, bro, the house is ugly, aren't they? These yeah, off-colour... What's the colour with them? What is the colour, though? Like? There's weird yellow, dark green... It's like the same colour as the, color as the grass. Yeah. Camouflage, yeah, lad. i got to admit, it's the most unique type of housing. Look at it. Smash windows. But, lad, look at the view, lad. That view is insane. We've got them out of the group. That's it. <laughs> There's another summer nights again. Hi, Come on, Come on, lad. So this is the pathway, eh? Yes. He just trying to stay out of the way. I see it. He's still doing his normal, what's up, what's up, what's up? But he trying to just maneuver out of it. Get through the bridgey. Little alleyway where we can walk. Look in the houses, lad. Look at it, bro. In the, in the windows, all the, all the walls are smashed in. Dang. Place is hammered, the door's rotten off. This house looks like it got mad potential to be nice. Everyone brings the hotties. Yeah, this, this <laughs> burnout the burnout part, eh? Evidence is clear. And for people that like want to run down these sort of areas and shit yeah. on the people out here, yeah. there really needs to be more. This the people Ooh. that like want to run down these sort of areas and shit yeah. on the people out here. This is the nicest one I've seen. Right here. This this it looks nice. This looks crazy. Yeah. There really needs to be more for people out here. You know, if people want to complain about what they're doing culturally out here, they need to invest more into these sort of areas to give more options for the youth out here, for the yeah. adults as well. Yeah, 100% right. All right, so we're in the full mix of it, eh? Right on the border of Bridgewater and Gagebrook. But you know what, mate? You know I'm going to say something? Like what happened with Logan and Milton, how the people came out. The idiots use idiots out there. You watch shows about the hood for your entertainment, but when the people from the hood appear, oh, look at these scumbags, look at those bloody idiots. But you watch the show anyway. If you don't like the people from here and you don't like that they're representing their area, then f off to another channel, you scumbag, because we're not here to impress you, right? You don't just get entertainment from watching the hood, but sit there judging and carrying on about the people from it. Wake up to yourself. True, true or not? True. true. I just cussed y'all ass out, man. Honestly, you gotta respect the hood. 
the hood be showing mad love when you when you really lock in, when you locked in. You they can sit here and watch the hood, but when the hood comes out, oh, this is rubbish. Look at these scumbags. But your life's so boring that you watch the hood for entertainment, don't ya, you idiots? And if you want to have a whinge about your community, instead try and contribute in a positive way rather than running people down. Yeah, that's and then it. more people that are investing good energy into uplifting people yeah. like Spanion is, you know? That's it. So we, yeah, you scums. This is what needs to happen across Australia. We've got such a cultural cringe. Yeah. The fact is, all you f***ing do-gooders cringe at this side of society yeah. because you can't accept that this is a part of the culture in this country. But this is what it is. Slide to Alice Springs. Alice Springs look lit. Well, a lot of uh, Sydney looks lit. When I first started this, I didn't, I didn't know that Australia had this type of energy, and it attracted me to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I rock with it. I don't know who broke talking about, but dang. <laughs> This is the culture. This is the culture. Look this at it. This is the culture. There's no fear in this culture. Half of you guys yes. just work in your job because you're scared. I told you Adelaide culture will take over. And it did. And look, we come to Hobart, <laughs> northern suburbs, Adelaide's everywhere. What are you going to do about that, mate? Have a cry. Write a blog. Call Channel 9. That's it. <laughs> look at them. See? I hope this upsets you. Go, boys. Go ahead. Get it, do it, do it, do it, do it, lad, do it. Oh, you can't. So, yes, sir. Get it, do it, do it, do it, do it, lad, do it. Oh, you can't. So. I ain't know y'all was holding down like that in Australia. I'm rocking, I feel it. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Oh, Oh, yeah. Talk to me, that's gang now. <laughs> My fault, I'm too excited about it. That's orange, Baba. That's it. That's it, lad. I'm almost sure that that's not the same thing. Maybe, I don't know, but it felt like home. <laughs> well, some of these houses are hammered around here, but look at this. Have a car back this is what it is uplifting the neighborhood. Yeah, you might see a lot of this as negative, but negative shit happens every day. Positive shit like this doesn't happen very often, you know yeah. what I mean? Negative yeah. shit happens all the time. We need to put, you know, uplift more yeah. than we need to shut yeah. down. We're in Bridgewater now? Yeah, we're in Bridgewater, oh, we're in Bridgewater now, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I feel like the police need to let this rock out because it could be worse. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go off a back street so we can walk through a street where there's, there's like houses and that. Hey, don't mate, how are you? Think about it, this is all shorties. This is the youth right here. Let it rock. What they what they throwing up though? I'm love. They thugging them my shorties or what? Bring up Brookie! Is, Bring up Brookie! Where is he? Bro? In the Ashley system! Ashley! Ashley. Ashley. The OJ house. Back to the OJ house. What are you doing, Dante? Oh, brother! What neighborhood is this again? What? I might... We gotta go. We gotta go. That was too... That, that was too crucial for me. I love it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Good to finally meet ya. He's a rapper, he's an Australian rapper, Dundee. I'll put it up, I'll put it up for his hands up there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah man, so just keep busy with work, my brother. Yeah. And they announced my new album today, June 14th is dropping. So Did ya? Yeah, mad, 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 mad. She's all on. Yeah, hectic, hectic. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, we're just yeah. doing what I can, brother. You know, yeah, hectic, hectic. Yeah, mad, mad, mad. <laughs> Everyone loves you, Daddy. They've been waiting for you to come down here. Have they? Yeah, they love you. Yeah, that's mad, I've bro. I've been posting on Facebook. We're spending really? out. Hectic, hectic. Trying to yeah, find hectic. you. Okay, come. Hectic. Good, how are you going? Well, these townhouses, how's that tell you? One yeah, back's back. back. There he is. He popped back up. Where'd you come from, mate? Come back. Where'd you come from? I was in Punch Cup of Cones back there, back in Gage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm baking the fuck out. I can't believe Did he just say he baked? Cones back there, back in the gauge. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. 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 Yeah, I'm East baked the fuck out. Yeah, but um, 29 Michelle. Shouts to Spanion. Thanks for coming down to Tasmania, bro, because look at look at all the love, bro. All yeah. the youth in that, bro. Like, That's you inspire it. them, brother. Thank you, bro. Great to fuck out. Proud of yourselves, so. bro. You're making a fucking mark, bro. Thank like, you, brother. Fucking no man. Straight up. Someone jumped on that after you left. Oh, that's it. Right after you left. Wait. 
Let's not, that's not because of me, right? No, no, no. Oh, hey, That's Gnocchi, that's Gage Book, and that's Bridgewater. Hold on, wait, okay, we still got three minutes left. Man, that's Hobart's most notorious suburbs, and I'm out, lad. Wait up, boys! This type of pool. Low key, if Spain started streaming, if he could develop the time to stream like two, three out, like, like not two, like once a week for like for three, four hours, just just stream. Don't set you up a nice little streaming room or make it basic. It don't even matter. Like, my setup is very basic. You know what I'm saying? It's very basic. Like, he'd do so good. At, there's no... The, all of Australia will watch this, man. He could get on stream and clock 10, 10K viewers. Because he has the youth. In this industry, all you need is the youth. Somehow, if you can get the youth on your side, you, it's a done deal. And then he has the world, too. Like, he could really be one of the top streamers if he really tried. If he, like, if he went and did, like, 340s hood vlogs and announced, like, his streaming platform on, his, where, on Twitch, that like he would be streaming or something, or on, or on Kick. Either one, like if I was him, I'd go to Kick and try to get a deal with Kick, eight figure deal. On my on my life, if I was Spain, I'd try to go get an eight figure deal with Twit with Kick. They'd be in a different stratosphere at that point. But then that'd take away from this because he really couldn't do this like that no more. No, yes he could. He just had to get some security. I I would start streaming. Even if you feel like you got nothing to talk about, come on here and talk about this. Yeah, man, we just, the, the, the video just dropped. Talk about that for an hour. You know what I'm saying? Play a video game with, with, with some people. You, I know you play video games or something. You know, do an IRL stream. And go to the gym, do your car stuff or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or do an IRL stream like the lead up to uh, to this. To these hood things and then be like, alright, you gotta catch it on YouTube. Click click. You know what I'm saying? That it'd be too up. It'd be up for Spain if he did like I uh, streaming. Still be ugly. And then for a full follow up. So on our way back to the hotel. Who's that? In the in the middle of Hobart. Oh, that's elite. That's crazy. In a lane, brother. Look at that. You done this. <laughs> he done it, lad. He just can't walk past and he goes, Spain, he goes, bro, I've done that mural of ya. Yeah. That's hectic, bro. What's your name? What are you right? Reese Williams, um, Soil. Legend? Yeah. Thank you, eh? Yeah, no worries, bro. Legend. Let's go, bro. Look what he done, lad. <laughs> what a way to end it, brother. I'm in a lane. I see a mural of me. Ten minutes later, because I'm sitting here spinning out, ringing people, there's a mural of me. He walks down, he goes, Buzz, I've done that mural, bro, this and that. Anyway, legend, bro. Hey, so, later. I love the graffiti of here. I wish this was my building, and I had a warehouse inside, and this was just how it looked on the outside. That'd be elite. What are they doing up there, mate? There's some wrecking rock and roll. You're a bikey, obviously. What kind of bikey am I? What? How did you know? Oh. 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 I went back to the city, went back to the hotel. That night, police come, raided the hotel I was in, arrested me, full dramatic, took me to the cop shop, threw me in the jail. What they were trying to say is that 
I somehow incited people or asked people to go crazy and smash the cop car or throw rocks at the cop car or whatever they done. I was in the cop shop overnight. I gave them access to my phone so they could hear the conversations between me and Greeley and me and Wombat. Pretty much every conversation they listen to is me telling Greeley or me telling Wombat, do your best to make sure no one knows. I don't want no one to know. I don't really want anyone to be there. Please don't let anyone know. All along those lines. So after a night in the cop shop, they end up deciding to charge me with disturbing the peace. Something like that. Anyway, so I got charged with disturbing the Won't hold it. peace because of other people's actions. I said, listen, I didn't ask him to be there. I didn't host an event. What do you want me to do? I'm, I'm allowed to walk the streets. If I go to a shopping center, people gather up and bunch around me. If I stand in, a, in the wrong spot for too long, people gather up and bunch around me. If they have a fight, it's got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? I said this straight up. Oh God, you just gotta go to the guys and be like, listen, my aura is him. I'm him. You know what that mean? It means, <laughs> it means my aura is that of God. No disrespect, big fella. You know I mess with you, but I'm him. I can't hold I, him. Is him chose me? I didn't choose to be him. I got all. I got motion. But with motion comes great responsibility. out to him i said that's like going to state of origin having a fight and arresting brad fitler or arresting the referee it doesn't work like that anyway i got charged with like i said disturbing the peace and here we are bro spaniel's got arrested lad he'll chay bro he'll chay hey spain got to be one of my most favorite persons on the internet i never knew i would like this dude that much but i like i rock with bro oh god if i still lived in chicago i told him to slide and we could uh, we could explore the city, the north side. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get it twisted. We could go to the west side too. I got some west side homies too. <sighs> Tell leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.